Happy Thursday, Facebook friends. Welcome back to Facebook. I'm Angie Garza, Director of Professional Learning and Educational Services at ROE 47, serving Lee, Ogle, and Whiteside counties. And if you're joining us back here on this fine Thursday on Facebook, you are in for a treat. We are so happy to have this conversation this morning with uh, three of our very fine colleagues uh, talking about a special event that is happening on Friday, October 14th at Sauk Valley Community College. More on that in just a second, but as we start off this morning, I wanted to say a special good morning to my friend, colleague, and co-host, and Pathway Navigator, who is part of this wonderful event on October 14th, Ms. Stacy Dingus. Good morning, Ms. Stacy. How are you doing this morning? I'm Angie. I'm good. We are feeling fall weather, aren't we? Uh, the sun is out, um, but you can tell that there's a little, it's cooling down a little bit, and so um, fall is in the air. Um, I'm excited for the conversation today. You know, when I was teaching, one of my favorite things was to give students experiences outside of the classroom. Um, I, I loved my classroom and, and um, loved teaching, but when we had that opportunity to get kids um, away from the school and, uh, you know, have a conversation about learning and about things that didn't take place in the four walls of the classroom, kids seem to just thrive on that. So I'm really excited today to feature um, some of my coworkers and friends who have really been working hard to provide an amazing opportunity um, for our area students. So excited for this conversation today. You mentioned fine fall weather. Yes, we are already marching into um, the fall. We are well underway in the school year. And I can't believe that we are talking about a special event that's happening in October, which will be here before we know it. Um, you also mentioned the fact that, you know, uh, those real world experiences are so valuable for, for our, our students, for our children, for our community. And uh, we are so excited um, about the event on Friday, October 14th at Sauk Valley Community College because it is a very special pathway playground, an opportunity for our area eighth grade students to engage in some hands-on career exploration to really kind of think about what they want to do with their lives and, and to think about how what they're learning relates to the real world. So let's not wait anymore. I am so happy to introduce, um, as you mentioned, our friends and co-workers in this very important work we have with us this morning, Heather Wanniger and Shanna McDonald, who are two of our career pathway navigators at ROE 47. And we also have with us my friend, and we also like to joke, uh, kind of partner in crime, Janice Jones, who is really spearheading this work um, and making those important post-secondary connections for us. So good morning, ladies. We are so happy to have you and learn more about the Pathway Playground event in October. And we are actually going to start with Janice. So Janice, I was wondering if you could kind of kick us off this morning and tell us a little bit about the Pathway program um, in general. We know that this is a piece of much larger work that's happening in our three county community. Um, so if you could just kind of maybe catch us up, tell us what those pathways are about and uh, why we are doing all of this really important work with our educators and community members. Thank you, Stacy and Angie. It's good to be here this morning. I love to talk about the pathways. I think it's one of the best things that the state has done in a long time. And so um, just as a general overview, the pathway program was established years ago, a few years ago by the state in order to give students a real taste of a career choice. So there are several components in the pathway. There's a career exploration piece where students get to go out and look at all kinds of, of careers to figure out, does, is this a fit for me? Is this a fit for me? Why would this not be a fit for me? Sometimes it's the figuring out the not as well as the, you know, what does work as well, you know, that that's the best. So there's career exploration. Once a student kind of settles on a career, then they can join a pathway. And during that process, they have some specialized learning that goes on in that content. For example, if they decide that they want to work in the field of ag, they might take some uh, ag classes at their uh, local high school. 
and as well as 60, or excuse me, six hours of post-secondary credit. That's also part of the pathway. And after uh, that individualized learning plan is established, students take part in two team-based challenges with the idea that every field needs students to learn how to collaborate and to then uh, express what they learn through the process. So there is in the team-based challenge, there is a presentation component. And perhaps the best part, and this goes back to what Stacy was saying, uh, of this whole pathway is that students have to do 60 hours of work-based learning. And we're not talking about going in and observing. We're talking about going in there and really doing the job. And so that's exciting. And as we've worked with pathway students across different um, pathways, they have two, every single one has said what exciting times it has been to do the work-based learning, to really see what it means to be a part of this career. And so that's what we're trying to offer to students, the opportunity to get a step ahead in their career choices to, so that when they do go to college or they, they do go on for a certificate program or whatever their post high school plan is, they have experience to back up the choices that they make. Heather, I'm going to ask you this next question um, because I know uh, personally it's something that you feel really strongly about and have had a lot of experience in. You know, we heard Janice mention the word career exploration several times. Can you tell us a little bit about what really is career exploration and why is it so important that we're introducing this idea to students um, at a young age? I think a lot of people would probably think that the idea of um, careers and what you want to do is something that is introduced or discussed in high school. But through a lot of our work, we have realized the importance of really introducing this idea um, at, a, at a young age. Can you talk a little bit about why that's so important? Good morning, Stacy. Yeah. I think it's really great to have conversations about career exploration and what's happening a lot sooner. Uh, I taught third grade for 10 years and was one of those things later in my career that I realized, oh, I always just thought it was the high school's issue to get them graduated and out the door um, and kind of not realizing the importance that you play in that career exploration piece even sooner. Uh, introducing students to jobs that they're not aware of. Students are usually really aware of People, what people do in their families and, and community things like firemen and, and policemen. And we know about uh, doctors and lawyers and teachers. And we know some of the things that we impact and we interact with. But there are hundreds and thousands of careers out there that we just don't know. Uh, some of those small jobs that maybe a handful of people do or I just haven't been exposed to because it's not in my circle of life doesn't mean it's not a passion or something I can do. Uh, career exploration early is something that I think is really important. It, it allows students to dream. Uh, what could I be? What could I do? Where could I live? What could I? What kind of different skills do I have that I could end up doing with my job um, that I could then end up loving? Uh, it also gives students a why. Uh, so many times students, why am I going to school? Why am I doing this? Uh, and it gives students a purpose. If, if I can identify something that I really enjoy, it allows students to say, okay, maybe that English class that I really don't like, I can get through, but I know I really enjoy math and I have picked something that I'm dreaming about that will get them to school and have them be passionate and fired up about it. Um, so it gives students a why. And then the last part that's really helpful is we have students headed to the high school, which a bulk of our career work does happen in a high school, but if we can have them going into high school, it helps them pick classes. It helps them choose um, what are those electives that I'm picking. I want my students to pick electives that are exciting and fun, but it also gives them a purpose and also gives them the, hey, what am I going to do when I'm done here? And it helps them pick those things. Again, it supports that why am I coming to school? Thank you, Heather. That is certainly a an important factor in kind of rethinking education. Um, we know that students, you know, if they go on to college, that can be a very expensive career exploration endeavor. And so starting them early is so vital to keep them engaged and, and give them something to, to work towards. Um, Shanda, we've heard Janice talk about 
you know, the pathway program. We've talked to Heather about, gosh, why is this so important to our students and our communities? So what is the purpose of the pathway playground? We, we kind of came up with this uh, idea and we're inspired by a field trip that we <laughs> this morning uh, uh, took last year around this time. So can you share with our viewers a little bit about why we're doing this and how it fits into our overall pathway work? We're really excited about the Pathway Playground. We are working really hard and um, working with a lot of different area businesses so we can showcase different careers. And we're going to have eighth grade students come out to Sock Valley Community College on October 14th to talk to people in different career fields and get to ask questions and have hands-on activities and really get to explore a lot of different fields. I know just for me and myself, uh, with a lot of these businesses, I've learned things I didn't know we had in this area. So um, we're, we're reaching out to all three counties and just trying to provide all those really um, fun activities for students to be able to learn about different careers. Tell us a little bit about who is invited to this great event um, and what can students expect when they're there? Yeah, so we have uh, invited out all of our area eighth graders to explore the different career clusters. So there are actually 16 career clusters that are uh, nationally recognized. Every career fits into one of those. And then Illinois has condensed them into seven that allows them to kind of focus in on, hey, what do I like and how do they all connect together? So we have organized the playground into seven categories. So when students come out, they'll be placed in a category uh, and they'll start and all of the jobs in that area will be similar. They'll have similar skill sets or similar interests. So if I am in with human services, I am looking at things like education and I'm looking at law enforcement and I'll be able to see Okay, these are people that help people. These are people that are interested in working with people. Their main part of their jobs are working with other people to help and support them. And they'll go around and every business is going to have items set up that they can interact, touch, talk with, uh, see maybe something that they didn't know. Um, I hear there's going to be some crime scene things and just all kinds of different things that are going to be out there. So students are going to see a part of the job that they may not have realized is a part of those things. Uh, and then they'll move to another category that also, again, is all kind of connected. Uh, so that's what students can expect when they're out there. Shanda. We heard about all of the wonderful things that are going to be happening at October 14th at the college as part of our Pathway Playground event. If I am either a business or if I am a, a school administrator or an educator, how do I find out more about this incredible opportunity for my eighth graders? Go on to ROE47.org under our, our tab and look up Heather Wanager or Shanda McDonald, and we will be more than happy to help you out. I think it's important for us to note that we will also include your contact information in the context of this posting. So if you are watching this on Facebook, please make sure to check out the Facebook post for more contact information and details. Thank you so much. Well, friends, I think that wraps us up for this edition of Teacher Talk here on Thursday on Facebook. Uh, I cannot iterate enough uh, the fact that we are tremendously excited about this very unique and engaging opportunity that we have for our students on Friday, October 14th at Sock Valley Community College. We are going to be pathway playgrounding with our eighth grade students in Lee Ogle and Whiteside County, over 1,100 students projected to be in attendance at this inaugural event at Sock Valley Community College. You know, the tagline of our Pathways work is explore and achieve. And this event is really in the spirit of all of the work that is happening across our three county communities with uh, career exploration and pathway endorsements. If you would like to know more about the Pathway Endorsement Programs, please visit www.roe47.org. As you're excited and looking forward to October 14th, we would remind you all, our Facebook friends and viewers, to have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. 
an even better Friday, an amazing fall weekend. And we will see you right back here next week for another edition of Teacher Talk.